Hi Aries, this is a love reading, okay? This is going to be um, how they feel about you. Love is getting ready to come your way, all right? I don't have indication that it's new, okay? Just yet, we're going to pull some cards and see. But I feel like there's a... I was pulling cards. I was like, I'm going to use this deck. I haven't used this deck in a while. I forget the name of this deck. But I was like, oh, I'm going to use this deck. And I pick it up and I'm like shuffling. And then the lovers comes out. I'm like, okay, dang, the lovers. All right. And then I noticed there's another card that doesn't belong in that deck from a different deck. And the lovers came out in that different deck. And I can't show you these lovers because these these two people in these cards are they don't have on any clothes. OK, so the it's so crazy because the thing is, one deck shows the front of the, the lovers. OK, I'm just going to do this. This I mean, this is the back of them. OK, this is the lovers card and this shows the back of them and this shows the, the back of the divine. Right. And then the other deck, they're naked, too. They ain't got on no clothes. <laughs> Okay, this is the front. I don't know if y'all can see their faces. Okay, then, then you can see the front of the divine space. And I was like, dang, okay, you could be a Gemini. Um, and then the uh, temperance card fell out. And this is a card showing another angel. Okay, I can show you this. You could be a Sagittarius or have Sag or Gemini in your chart. You don't have to. Temperance came out. And then I was like, dang, I look on the bottom of the deck. I'm pre-shuffling it again. The bottom of the deck, I see the three of pentacles. I'm like, damn, who getting ready to, to get married or or be presented with a union or be presented with their re reunited or united with their divine masculine or their divine feminine? I feel like spirit is bringing two people together who are about to be, your, a union is getting ready to be put into place. Spirit your spirit guides, the universe, everybody, somebody, your spirit team and your person's spirit team, had they everybody conspired together to get y'all together, okay? And now this union is getting ready to be presented to you, which I feel like, which means, I'm going to tell you this because it's going to be a faded event. You're going to meet this person somewhere. It's going to be unexpected. This is definitely faded because when I went to go pull a, pull another deck, I saw another card that didn't belong there. And I was like, okay, spirit, this is another sign. Wheel of fortune. Okay. Life lessons, good luck, unexpected events, destiny, fortune, fate, change, wheel of fortune here. Okay. There's also money like falling all over the top of somebody or something here. So like, I feel like you and this person are going to be very abundant together. It's an abundant connection. It's a divine faded connection. You're about to meet somebody, right? Then I was like drawn to the Kipper deck. And I pull it out of, of the um the, the box I have it in. On the bottom of the deck, I see gift. Okay? So, I, I don't know. <laughs> We're just going to see. Capricorn energy, which I have three of pentacles. But let's just see, y'all, because I, I don't... It could go either way. Show me this connection here. Show me this connection. Okay, the here goes the masculine. First card out is the masculine, the number one. Okay, this masculine fell on top of temperance. Okay, and that's telling me this is somebody here who is um could work in a legal system. I see courthouse on the bottom of the deck. They could have recently ended something. They're getting ready to maybe recently move here. It's giving me. A bigger divine energy, but let's see. Definitely some divine energy. Show me more here about this connection. Despair just fell out on top of temperance. Mature woman. Somebody could have recently lost their mother or disconnected from their mother. An older woman here. Show me this main male and this connection. Distant Horizons. So distance, Distant Horizons is like my Three of Wands card, Aries Leo Sag. This just fell on top of the lover. So this is telling me this connection is, this is coming in soon. It's on the way. It's at a distance, but it's coming. Somebody here could be traveling also to show me more here about this connection. 
everything keeps falling on top of this temperance card for some reason. Co main concern. What's this concern about? Yeah, somebody, okay, adjudication just fell on top of this main, main male. Okay, adjudication is like justice, balance. Um, It could be in everything. Continue. The fact that justice, adjudication and concern, everything seems to be followed either on this main male or this temperance energy is telling me something's coming back into balance. So something may have taken place in this masculine's life in the past where they were in despair uh, over something, okay? Maybe over their money, their stability, whatever this is, but something is getting ready to be put into balance again. Some harmony is about to come back into play. This main male is definitely concerned about that. Yeah, this person's thinking about money. Are they going to lose money here? Yeah, are they going to lose money? Look at this. Great fortune, community, and poverty. Yeah, a message. Somebody, this masculine's going through it. Show me more about this main male. Imprisonment. And courtship. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? What's this infringement energy? We gonna get there. Courthouse. You see what I'm saying? Something here in an expectation. I feel like there's a situation going on here where this person is dealing with somebody, a false person, a karmic or something, or they um they were they might be getting a divorce or going through some form of legal something okay so just keep that in mind all right so let me move on to it but the thing the point is, is that i feel like something is going to be improving all right so show me more about this divine masculine this divine feminine connection that's out here this lover's energy the magician this fell directly on top of the lover. Somebody here could definitely have some strong ass Gemini in their chart. Somebody manifested something here. Yeah, they did. They manifested something new. Yeah, they did. Judgment, energy on the bottom of the deck, the page of pentacles. I feel like whatever somebody manifested, something is about to be a show. Something is about to be a show. Clarify this lover's energy and this divine masculine, divine feminine. Six of Cups. Could be a soulmate here. Somebody could have manifested a soulmate or a partnership. I'm telling you, this is the divine connection. Show me more here about this connection. Somebody's grandparents might not be living. So if you have grandparents that are not living, I feel like somebody's grandparents is not living. King of Pentacles, okay? And I feel like... Uh, Taurus Virgo Capricorn, by the way. So I feel like this masculine here, and there goes that page of pentacles on the bottom of the deck. So it could be dealing with somebody who's got strong earth in their chart and strong sad and strong Gemini. But um, somebody's grandparents are like their guardian angels and, and they, they passed away some time ago. This king of pentacles energy here is somebody that's stable they do have a lot of money but they're concerned like this person is doing well financially show me more here about this connection between these two two people these two new people six of pentacles so now we have two sixes and we also have three 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 out here as well okay so this king of pentacles is a giver this King of Pentacles, I feel like this King of Pentacles has recently stopped giving to somebody here too. Yeah, somebody could have recently like stopped giving to a family, stopped giving money to a family. Um, this person regrets leaving a family situation here. Definitely some sort of ending in another situation. It's almost like this masculine stopped giving to somebody else and they're about to be giving to somebody else. I don't, that's that wants it. Uh, show me more here. The Empress. And, and the Ace of Pentacles is on the bottom of the damn deck. Listen. With the Ten of Cups. I can't make this shit up. Hold on, y'all. This is... 
I feel like there's a new beginning here. There's definitely a new beginning of family situation. Somebody's about to rebuild a family with it uh, and have some kids too with an empress. I'm trying to see what this is on the bottom of the deck though. Let me just move on here because this is so interesting. Okay. Anyway, Ace of Pentacles to the to the Empress. I mean, so clarify this this King of Pentacles, please. So somebody basically you manifested a uh, two of cups. I cannot make this up, you guys. This is so crazy. Two 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 could also be significant here. This King of Pentacles is ready to be in love, like Six of Wands. We have two sixes. We have after a breakup. Somebody could have experienced a really awful breakup here, an awful betrayal. It was public. Somebody may have gone through a really awful public divorce, an ugly divorce, an ugly uh, child custody case or something. I feel like somebody was fighting for their life. I don't... But the point is, is this masculine with this six of pentacles is between this emperor. So this is telling me you and this person are both looking for something. And I feel like y'all both manifested it. And spirit is bringing it into fruition and into the ethers, into the 3D. And y'all are getting ready to come together. But I feel like this masculine here had some other shit going on. So this was faded for the two of you guys, to, you know, to be together. Um, show me more on this king of pentacles. This is real. That there goes that dang on um, page of uh, pentacles. Huh? You got a new love offer here. Okay. Definitely got a new love offer, and the love offer looks good with this two of cups. Definitely could be a soulmate. Show me this empress. The chariot. Yeah. Cancer energy. Show me this empress. <laughs> listen, listen here, man, ma'am. Okay, sir. You page of cups. You have a new offer coming towards you. Okay, you somebody wants to offer this cup of love to you. They want to make a gesture of love to you. They see you as somebody who's very attractive. Queen of Wands energy. A leader, outgoing, outspoken. Um, you know, they really, you could be an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. It doesn't matter what zodiac sign you are. But this is good. Can we clarify this magician, please, spirit? The nine of wands. I feel like here somebody is was never somebody never gave up. They persevered. I feel like the both of y'all never gave up, regardless of what you went through in your life. Wounded, battered, bruised. You know what I'm saying? You didn't give up hope. And and in this nine of wands here, you had to fight some demons. You had to fight some some real fight. Fought uh, what? You had to fight some real battles is the point I'm making. <laughs> because there's like a bear in front of this person or a baboon or some shit. So you, so you know, it's like, but he's still standing tall. Like, okay, I'm going to fight this baboon here. I am not going to back down. I'm going to persevere and push forward here. Clarify this magician. I feel like the, there goes the king of wands. This is your person. Now you you showed up as the Empress and the in the Queen of Wands. Here goes this King of Wands. This King of Wands ain't giving up the fight in the battle either. This King of Wands is not, yeah. The Herophant. I saw the, the Empress earlier. I mean the High Priestess earlier. Hmm. This King of Wands, honey, clarify this King of Wands. I'm telling you, 
may also be just as attractive as you, handsome as you, or, or gorgeous as you, has a certain aura. I feel like y'all just going to be matching each other, honey. Y'all going to be on Christmas posting pictures with matching pajamas and shit. <laughs> Even if you haven't met this person yet, I'm guaranteeing you that's the kind of stuff y'all are going to be doing. Y'all are just going to be matching colors, matching your outfits, taking pictures, posting them to wherever you post them to. You know, y'all both might be popular and like very attractive people, like very good, good energy here. Show me this King of Wands. This King of Wands has a lot of confidence too. Show me this King of Wands. I feel like this King of Wands gets a lot of attention. Nine of Cups. Wow, this is beautiful with the Eight of Wands on the bottom of the deck. I feel like this King of Wands had to fight a battle. Hold on, I can't even pick the dang old thing up. This King of Wands may already have three children. Keep that in mind. Okay. These kids are well taken care of. This masculine takes care of those children. Show me this king of wands. Okay, queen of swords. Show me this queen of swords. Who is this queen, queen of swords? Who's this queen of swords? Clarify the moon. Hold on, I'm trying to get some information first. The tower. I feel like this queen of wands is this is this person's ex, the person who they just went through this battle with, that person they may have children from. And it was a battle. It was a battle. I feel like this person did some stuff in the secret. We have Aquarius energy here with the star, um, the moon, and the tower here. Yeah, this is you. Okay. Th this queen of swords is this ex. And this ex is like real bitter. Okay. Real bitter energy. And this is you showing up as this queen of cups, this real kind, caring, nurturing person. And there goes the high priestess. You're the high priestess. You're this really intuitive person. You have foresight. You're psychic. And we did see the high priestess a minute ago. I mean, the hierophant a minute ago. So this is your person. And this is what this person is going through right now. Um, I feel like this feminine, this ex, love the tension here. They didn't will do anything for money here. Um, this 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 something went on, went on it. What's this tower? The, her the hermit, Virgo energy. Somebody could be Virgo or Scorpio or Cancer. They could be any sign, okay? What's this tower? There was a big ass fight. This Knight of Swords just came out in reverse. So whatever came to light, whatever was in the dark, the moon came to light, the tower. It was shocking. It was brought a lot. Spirit shined a light on this shit. That is the hermit okay to the knight of swords some shit blew up somebody was doing something they shouldn't have been doing when it comes to money assets somebody here could have been like sleeping around because this i can't show you this star because she's naked but like the images that i'm seeing here is like Somebody may have had a third party or somebody was sneaking and doing some shit at night they weren't supposed to do. Somebody could have been sleeping with somebody's friend. It's like this feminine was sleeping with somebody, took a shower, and then this male dipped off. But somehow they still got caught. And this masculine could have knew, known about it. This is really random. Clarify this seven of pentacles to the star energy. Spirit saw all of this shit, though. This person could have been married. Married? Okay, five of swords. Yeah, the truth was revealed. I cannot make this shit up. The truth was revealed here. Five of swords, ace of swords, and the sun. The damn truth was revealed. Spirit revealed the truth to this person. 
And the reason I say that with the seven of pentacles, there's like a ghost at the top of this person. Like, I, I feel like that's spirit. And then this star card is like, I know you can't really see because my fingers covered it. There's a man dipping off in the background. Like he just left and she trying to hurry up and take a shower. And I feel like spirit revealed this to the hair font came back out again, by the way. I just feel like that's spirit all over this. this these people could have been married. Definitely somebody playing games and thought they was going to get away with some shit and they did not get away with it. Just period. Clarify this hair font, please. Clarify this hair font. Ooh, child, this was public. Also, too, I'm going to tell you this. Um, Somebody playing in somebody's energy, too. Trying to keep somebody stuck. This feminine could have been playing in this masculine's energy. Trying to keep somebody stuck or somebody threatening to take something public. Or maybe they did take something public here. A bunch of drama. A bunch of drama. On the on the, on the the internet, a bunch of drama. Okay, Ten of Swords with the Wheel of Fortune is just kind of giving me like something was put on. Somebody was put on blast. Or will be put on blast. There's a new beginning here for you and somebody else, though. I'm just period. Clarify this whole Aries energy. Clarify this full Aries energy. Three of Pentacles. Seven of Swords. This person was trying to get away and dip off. Whoever this person, yeah, look at this. This this is this Queen of Pentacles energy here. Seven of Swords, two two of Swords. They didn't want want this information to come out, but it came out. Let me go to a different deck. Where is my here? We'll use my Kipperish deck. Can you show me more about this Queen of Swords energy? Show me more about the Queen of Swords energy. She's worried. This Queen of Swords energy is worried about money right now. They're concerned. I'm telling you, somebody's concerned a lot about money. Like, show me this Queen of Swords. Show me this Queen of Swords. Okay, thank you. And show me this King of Wands. Um, there's something about an older woman involved in this masculine's life. The mature woman has come out several times in two different decks. Show me this King of Wands. I just feel like... Show me this King of Wands. Hold on, y'all. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So this King of Wands is worried about money too. They really both, let me tell you what this is giving me. Two people who were in their ego that both cared about the 3D materialism, how something looked, how much money they made, how they looked in the public. And I feel like this masculine is changing and they're they because they got burned by this person. I feel like this 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 feminine that this masculine was dealing with was definitely also too the both of them are e equally wrong here. Um reviving in this on the same level to be quite honest. They thought it was real love because the two of them were vibrating on the same frequency. They were thinking the same right at that time i feel like that's changed i feel like this masculine has changed because this feminine did something all for attention or all for money and they betrayed and backstabbed that masculine that ten of swords just kept coming out kept coming out and that five of swords too um something about this person's appearance somebody here may have gotten a lot of work done on their body or their face or something seems very superficial about the, about this feminine. I'm telling you, the bottom of the deck is poverty. This masculine might be realizing here. Yeah, they are realizing. Let me show you this. 
emotional pain. I'm telling you, this masculine is feeling different about this whole situation now. Now they're realizing self-love, awakening, and poverty. Please help. I feel like somebody's having an awakening and they're realizing maybe somebody was trying to take them for their money, but this money will be returned to this masculine because they are learning the lesson they were supposed to learn. This was all orchestrated. Somebody here could be concerned about losing a house and concerned about losing some money. Because this relationship is not where it's at anymore. I don't know what this masculine does for a living, but I definitely feel like this feminine latched on to this masculine because, or it could be vice versa too, you know, but I feel like this, this feminine latched on to this masculine because of their money or the attention that they got or what they did for work or they get a lot of attention in the public eye. Show me one more about this masculine, please. Ooh, what is going on? What, what's this RIP interview? This masculine? Unbothered. So this masculine is ending something with this feminine and yeah, he's a boss. I told you, whoever this masculine is, they're a boss. They have money. They have abundance. Like, they're concerned about... They could have really lost a mother recently here, too. Or this masculine because it's concerned about their money. But anyway, so... They're transitioning. They're moving on. And they're unbothered. And they don't want to be bothered with this person here who's had all this work done. Or BBL or whatever they have, honey. Definitely went through some... Ups. A bunch of mm, mm. show me this um show me the new person that this masculine is connecting with show me the new person that this masculine is connecting with oh that's a lot of cards spirit I ask spirit to show me the new person and I'm going to just tell you this now, the past person is not going to want this, this, this person, their person, their past, this masculine to move on. They are going to do everything they can because money is drying up or some sort of court order is not the way somebody either losing a house or losing money, not getting something that they thought they were going to be getting to keep up with their persona, their looks or their lifestyle. I'm just going to keep it real here. And I do feel like somebody was with somebody for a very long time, maybe had children with them or lived in a home with them or they were married to this person. Take how it resonates. This feminine is going to be really pissed when they move on with you. There's gonna this person's gonna be doing magic and shit. This, this the ops on the bottom of the day. Ritual came out with conflict and commitment. Can we hear about the new person? Spirit. Here we go. Thank you, Spirit. I appreciate you. Um we have ascending in relationship. You and your per your I'm telling you, this masculine is going to be is going through a spiritual awakening right now. They're learning to be out of their ego, be out of their pride. They're learning money isn't everything. They're learning looks ain't everything. They're learning attention ain't everything. The wrong attention can lead you down the wrong path or they're down the wrong road with the wrong person. And you, you, maybe you as a feminine went through some form of ascension process yourself too. Somebody's heart chakra is opening up. They're healing and they're realizing a lot of things. Um, just saying. Y'all are going to compliment each other very well. Can I, can I get more about the new person that this masculine is connecting to spirit? Thank you so much. In the near future, oh my God, this energy keep popping up. Somebody is trying to do magic because they don't want you to keep you your person to leave and take a different path. This says distant future, death magic. So this has not happened yet, but on the bottom of the deck is Earth Angel. Yeah, look at this Jezebel. Jezebel. This Jezebel is having is going through some form of legal issues and then her face and her body just look so fake she about to be cut off from this lifestyle 
this this Jezebel is jealous of, and I'm just gonna keep it real. You see the stark difference in between the, between the two of these people, how they look, how they're dressed. Okay. Can we hear more of spirit, Holy Spirit? This masculine is getting ready to say peace and go on a new journey towards their happiness. Show me more about the new person. Can I more about the new person? What's this expectation? So now there's some more blocked energy here. High priestess, yeah. Somebody here is trying to do magic or they're going to be, yeah, they are. Somebody's trying to do magic on this person because they do not want them to move on. They're going to try to do everything they can to block them, you, and to be together. Literally, this says blocked and priestess. But remember, you're an earth angel. Child, show me more here. Who is this high priestess energy here? Show me this preacher. They're blocked in the third party. Emotion. Ooh, this I can't make it up. This is look emotional pain. Mentally and emotionally unstable third party situation. Moving on. It's heartbroken because this person that moved on. Or they're about to. Somebody thought they were going to use kids. I just split the deck and saw a child. Yeah, the opposition getting ready to cry. They're about to be battered and bruised. They don't have no money. Their money drying up. Child, they, they don't know what they're going to do. Can't travel like they used to anymore. Show me more here. Yeah, this person's trying to keep somebody stuck to them by, through divination. Can't make this shit up. And maybe I feel like for a little while, this, this person was able to do it. They were able to lie, cheat, manipulate, do whatever they could. For a good little while, it was working. But I feel like this, this masculine is getting ready to go. They're moving on. They're getting ready to go. They moving on. They done. Moving on again with faith. Show me more here. Show me this feminine. Show me the energy of this person who is emotionally unstable doing this magic. Oh, that's too many spirit. But okay, let's I see snake. Sneaky, jealous, envious, hidden motive, has it out for you, envious. Putting on a show. This person going to do any and everything they can. Suffering in silence. And prideful. Show me more here about this. About this snake Holy spirit. And this person who's jealous. Trying to block. Wrote a check their ass cannot cash. A weird ass karmic. Life of bad luck and misfortune. Spiritually bankrupt. This person, not only is their bank account about to be on zero or they're not going to be able to continue to have the lifestyle that they have, honey, they mad. They about to be pissed because they are getting cut off, okay? Cut off. What else? I cannot. Regret thinking of what could have been reflecting your remorse. At some point, this person is going to have some form of remorse, but right now, they prideful as hell. You, you wouldn't know it. You would not know this. Show me more here about this mentally unstable person. This person is a fucking leech, like I said. Court case. Court case and leech. Draining, gold digger, clingy as fuck, won't let go. Thank you, Holy Spirit. This is somebody who's vain. Stay in the mirror. Care about their body. Get work done. And listen, I don't care what you do, but it's not my business. Do what make you happy. I'm not talking down dirty, but now on the bottom of the deck. Dirty love offer. Blame game. Child. Soulmates. Vulture. Child, listen. Anyway, I just... I mean just be aware of that.
this is going to be protected regardless. The Wheel of Fortune is here with the lovers and temperance. Holy Spirit has everything. It's going to be protected. You're going to be fine. Or this masculine is going to be fine. Is there anything else you can tell us about this new connection, Holy Spirit? The good energy for the new connection? Spirit of Sand. Let's see. The new connection. Stand your ground. So this masculine is going to be standing their ground. They definitely went through a battle. And they won. This is somebody standing somewhere looking very triumphant. Like they just conquered some shit. Oh, partnership and alliances. Okay. That's like three of pentacles energy. Can you show me? You're, this is going to be a strong bond. Nobody's going to be able to break this up. No magic. No, no manipulation. Nothing's going to be able to stop this. Okay. Tell me more about this new connection. Victory and success. Nobody's going to be able to stop it. Spirit has spoken. That is it. A lot of passion. A lot of harmony. A lot of good sex. Somebody could be taller than you. There was a lot of sacrifice. This masculine made a lot of sacrifices. And maybe you made a lot of sacrifices too. You know, uh, financial and material changes. I feel like someone here had to learn money is not the end all be all. Wheel of Fortune is here, so y'all will be fine. But the thing is, this masculine is no longer living in that energy. Okay, they, they are going to be able to make that money again. The two of y'all will be able to do that together. The Three of Pentacles is here. We saw the Three of Pentacles earlier too. This is going to be a strong partnership. It's going to be a firm foundation here. Just period. Yeah. This masculine is awakening. We have the emperor with the crown chakra. And the third eye. Damn. Look at this shit. This masculine is awoke. <gasps> this masculine is woke as hell. Fulfillment of wishes. So I wouldn't be concerned about it. This masculine is taking his power back and he's standing on business. So, I, how long was this reading? I love y'all. Hit the like button. Sorry this was so long, but it was it was a nice reading. But, you know, protect your any protect your space. Just know that somebody got an ex who's a leech. They're going to be mad. They're going to be sending negative energy to the evil eye, whatever they're doing. And they're mad just because they can't live the same lifestyle they used to live anymore. They might try to use the children. I, I don't see if for those of you, this person has kids. Like, I don't see this masculine allowing this person or this feminine allowing this person to get in the way of what y'all have. Because y'all will be rebuilding together or you, you, you don't have to worry about it. So, love y'all. Bye.